Now we're going to go to Pastor Manning of Otlo World Church, uh, who, in his own community, going up against the gangster, um, Al Capone Sharpton, has basically got him removed off television, and a lot more working with other people, exposing uh, this FBI informant race baiter. And we're going to get into that. We're going to get into so much more. Atla.org. There is so much to get to with the world economy, with what's happening in the planet, uh, with where this election is going, with Bernie Sanders talking about socialism. When you look at how socialism wrecks countries and how these global elite are tax exempt and won't even be touched by him, it's amazing. So there's so many places to go, so many angles to cover Pastor Manning, but I want to give you the floor for the next five, ten minutes, as I know you've been sitting there in your studio revving up to talk about what's happening, to ask you what's front and center for you. Before I get to what's front and center for me, I, I'd like to just review some of the things I've been kind of listening to as I've been green rooming here with you over the past few minutes. And, and number one would be the X-Files in terms of a television production and listening to what's being told you about how X-Files is now mimicking or ripping off your broadcast type in order that they might be able to sell their programming. I think they understand something, and all authors and pe people of creativity, as you very well understand, that they need an authentic, if you will, person or projection that they need to put forward. And InfoWars is exactly that. I mean, you can search nine ways the nine ways about something that is authentic, that isn't bought and paid for, that you can be absolutely sure that the government does not support uh, would be the, the, the info was, and, and, and not so much they want to praise you. That's not what they want to do. What they want to do is something that is authentic, that when people watch it, they know that this is real because actually what you do is on that order. That's number one. Uh, the number two, with respect to the, the type of people, the alphabet groups that listen to you, CIA, whoever else they are, Homeland Security, uh, they have to listen to what you're saying. Uh, and for reasons perhaps many people may not think um, is because the news reporters have an opportunity to get information uh, from people in business and also in government that the CIA would not have access or Homeland Security, the FBI would not have access just because of who they are as legal organizations. But people are willing to talk to the media on the confidentiality. And what they realize is that in order for them to find out exactly what's happening, they're not gonna turn on CNN because they get powder puff, if you will, information that's inauthentic. They get information that sells commercials or sells automobiles but they don't get the kind of hard and fast information that's running underground that even the FBI uh, and other agencies can't dig up. And if I could just go one, one further as well, I think what we need to realize, um, you know, the 9-11 the uh, perpetrators generation, they've not gone anywhere. I think that people who were sadly misguided uh, that 9-11 was Islamic as, uh, as they were, they misguided by such, think that somehow or another that, that the 9-11 perpetrators have gone home, taken their balls, and they're now either sipping lemonade or smoking cigars, whichever they may choose to do. We need to know, Alex, and that those people that perpetrated 9-11, as heinous as it was, they've not gone away. They've become even more deeply entrenched. They got the Patriot Act through, they got the National Defense Authorization Act through. They committed a crime so incredibly monstrous that if it ever came out, it will bring down America. They committed a crime too big to fail. Yeah, uh, and, they, and they've not gone away. Uh, you know, they, isn't it somehow another? that they're not dangerous anymore? Hell, they're more dangerous now than they were at 9-11, as awful as that was. So I, I think that we're living in a world where our eyes have to be open to this, and 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 I and what you do, you know, it, it helps open eyes. Uh, well, thank you, sir. World. What you do reaches tens of millions. And again, I wasn't even talking about us, Gonzo journalism wise. Just we have to cover it. That that and what you said is totally true. I believe Chris Carter's a good guy. 
cares about what's happening. I know his show is very popular, but basically got canceled. They said in the news in 2002, post 9-11, we trust our government now. Fox doesn't want this, even though it has the highest ratings ever. They killed his show. It's a victory for him to even be able to bring it back and question the system. And we've already won so much ground, thanks to you and so many others, with the truth that they know they can't hold it back anymore. And I would imagine, though, he's had to make some type of deal that there's going to be some spin at the end of this. I mean, maybe we learn I'm the bad guy in the show or something. I, I mean, I'm not holding my breath here, but it is. Well, uh, I mean, I don't know if they would necessarily project you as the bad guy. I think, again, uh, they're looking for something that really sells. I mean, you know, artists who are movie stars or whatever it is that want to be able to project a character, an alcoholic, a drug addict, a drug dealer who have no personal experience there needs to go and study someone who does that. And I think you're just a prototype for them in terms of not that you're that you're not important. Like no, no, I understand. Absolutely. No, I get it. It's the prototype. And, and right. then they say they're taking our, quote, material, what we cover, and putting it in the show as well. So I guess it's a way of taking something real and turning it into fantasy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, careful, however, that the audience and people in, do, and worldwide that listen to you do not and somehow or another allow them to turn your truth and authenticity into fantasy uh, because it now becomes commercialized in these X-File type programs and probably other things that are in the workings as well. Well, I got to say something, uh, Pastor Manning, and I'm not kissing your hind end on this, but it's true. You, you come up with the most sophisticated, deep analysis just ever because I'm sitting here too close to it trying to figure out what's going on. And as soon as you said all that, I realized it's absolutely crystal clear. And I was thinking about this last week. You know, they threatened to kill me. They came after me. They, they turned loose all these dogs. They've done all sorts of stuff behind the scenes. That didn't work. And so now well, the devil puts his arm around you. That's what Albert Speer talked about with Hitler. You know, well, why'd you work with Hitler? Right. Well, you, know, right. you don't know it's the devil when he puts his warm arm around you. Right. And I'm not saying, you know, Chris, uh, that uh, Chris Carter's Hitler or, or that even Fox is. What I'm saying is, is they just keep embracing you and loving you until you just can't help it and you're sucked in by them. Yeah, well, you got to be aware of the odds of March as well. I mean, you have to watch out uh, for that kind of a thing going forward. But I, I, I think that the you have built an audience uh, in such a way in with information that right now it could be the straw that breaks the camel's back if they came at you in the most minute way. And I don't have any in intel on this. I, I just try to read the tempo of the times. You, you, you have to learn how to pick your fights. I had a teacher in college that said to me, uh, pick your ruts well, because you're going to be in them for a long time. But he also taught me that you have to pick your fights. You can't just fight everything all the time. You need to know. And so I don't think that right now would be a good thing to pick a fight. What a voice like yours. I mean, I just don't, and a, 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 I don't think, I don't think it'll be a wise. Well, let's pull I, back from that and talk about the general view of where you think the American people are, the people of the world, because the fact that you're so successful, I'm so successful, isn't just the information overall. It's also that people now are ready to wake up. I mean, I, I think undoubtedly the season of awakenings here and the system's going to strike back. What is your sense of the pulse of the world right now, Pastor Manning? I, 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 I sense that, as you stated, that people are ready to wake up. I think they have awakened. Uh, the next step, um, Alex, is that they've got to put on the armor that is necessary and, and they got to get dressed and ready for battle. Are they awakened? Yes, there's no doubt about that. There's, there, there's very few people that are still asleep on the process. But there's another step to this process, Alex. And it has always been throughout all of the length and breadth of human history, once the awakening, you got to take a step. You, you got to get up and you got to do something. When God spoke to Abraham there in the land of Ur of the Chaldees and awakened him uh, to what, who the true God was, he then told Abram, you got to now get up, leave your family, and go to the land that I will show you. Uh, that's going to be the next step that people need instructions because they don't know what to do. And you have to understand we've been heavily indoctrinated with the propaganda that comes from the media, that comes, uh, and black people in particular, if I can say so, so I'll just hit this chord. They have been so propagandized with the civil rights paradigm example of what to do with deal with every situation. If it's Ebola, get out and march civil rights. I, you know, if it's, if it's Tylenol with poison in it, get out and march civil rights. 
And so we get organizations that rise up like Black Lives Matter. I mean, if you look at the history of, of black people in particular, but, but then go back and look at people in general, Alex, we need a march in order. We need march. They awaken now, to be sure. But there needs to be marching orders like Abraham got, like Moses got, and, 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 and like George Washington got. We, that, that, that's going to be the next step. And, I, and I, you know, I'm a little, that I'm expressing that on your broadcast today. Uh, I, I, I'm not reservant about it, but I, I, this is the first time I expressed that. And I've known that because, you know, there are a lot of listening ears listening to you right now. So now they know what the next plan is, 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 is to create the next direction, give the next marching orders. They can somehow or another try to circumvent it. But I think it's going to be so massive, I don't think they'll be able to do so. You're absolutely right. And, and you know, the good news is a lot of people in the system are awake, too, and, and, and realize they've been lied to. But the people running the show have been planning this for a long time. They're so committed. And uh, I know why folks don't want to believe this is happening, because it is scary to realize exactly what we're facing. When we come back, I want to talk about what's currently happening with the election. I want to ask about uh, your discernment, why you like Donald Trump. I, I mean, I, I like him, too. Uh, and... Uh, and I don't, you know, generally like to even come out and endorse political candidates. Uh, it's just that he's the only one who's got a shot at beating Hillary in my view right now. Stay with us. We're on the. We're going back to Pastor Manning. I also want to open the phones up for your view on what he's saying, your view of the X Files, your view on where this whole Soros plan to cause civil unrest is going. I, I don't see it actually going too well. 800-259-9231, uh, 259 Oh, and first-time callers. We haven't done that in about a week. First-time callers, 800-259-9231. Um, I want to go back to Pastor Manning. I also want to remind listeners that standing up in a place like Harlem, which is so Democratic Party run and, and, and so gangster run by the Clintons and Sharpton and all these folks, takes a lot of courage, and so you need to pray for Pastor Manning, and I would also go, uh, you know, to his website, otla.org, and I would make donations there. I would get his books. I would get his materials, because I know folks in Harlem, and for decades, they've got free food for the kids at lunch and in the morning, and they, and they just are a fount, a spring, and a desert of evil uh, there in Brooklyn, and he's now having a lot more success. He's always had success, but it's exponential now. He talked about that last time he was on, so he needs to be in our prayers because I can't say enough to everybody out there. If you're a citizen journalist just with a YouTube channel and a video camera in your small West Virginia town or your Northern California town or your South Texas town or your Missouri, Michigan, wherever you're at, big city, small town, and just have a camera, report on things, give your views, give your commentary. And then you'll become a leader in your area just by osmosis. People are looking for that. Start an organization, a land rights group, a Second Amendment group. Just organize, get involved, run for office. Be the salt and the light in your areas. And take action because people are ready. And then that's what this show is, is also a platform to support all the other great people that are out there who also support us when we get attacked and when we get demonized. When people lie about us and do dirty tricks and all the rest of it. But folks more and more see through that. Uh, and then getting back to what I was saying earlier, it is so essential that you go to InfoWarsStore.com. It costs a lot of money to run these reporters, to run the servers, the, you know, the building, uh, the plane tickets, the, the legal. Thank God we've survived uh, over the years some just grievous attacks. I mean, uh, folks, real intelligence operatives trying to take us down. I mean, infiltrators, it's like something out of a movie, okay? I mean, it is, it is, it is, it, it is crazy. And I don't get into it. I don't make a big deal out of it. And it's gotten a lot better. We've gone through a lot, though. Okay. And you have to understand, we are right at the tip of the spear. I don't like that. I wish there was a bunch of other people bigger than I was. Uh, and I'm glad there's people like Drudge that is or, or a Donald Trump. I, I know Drudge is for real and good. I hope Trump is. We're going to talk about Trump in a moment. But, folks, I mean, you want somebody to fight the New World Order? We're doing it. You want somebody to fight against these abortuaries and selling baby parts? We're doing it. And we go out there and get in their face and literal communist scum saying they love Satan appear and start attacking us. And they, and they literally, black, white, doesn't matter, stumble around and have like green skin and fall down. I mean, they're just demons, folks.
We have literal demon-possessed people show up when I go out in public, drooling, you know, coming after me. And I, 